Hey guys, a few weeks ago I got an email from uh, Chris Lucas and he asked me how to set up this uh, patch in Zebra and this is an image that he pulled from the Sound on Sound article on creating kick drums and if you don't know it, Sound on Sound has a great series of articles on uh, synthesis in general it's called Synth Secrets and it's it's really the, the best way to learn um, to learn synthesis and at the end here we get this um, this patch and he wants to know how to set this up in Zebra and first off it's a it's less complicated than it looks because for example we have the trigger here well the trigger we don't need to set that up but when we input a note it goes to the it goes to the Zebra if you're on that channel so that's the trigger then we have the AR contour generator and AR stands for attack release here so basically that's just an envelope then we have an attenuator and that is just the modulation amount so if I would set up an envelope or an LFO right here this would be the attenuation because I'm changing the depth of the modulation then we have a VCO voltage control oscillator so just a normal oscillator and low pass filters um, we have a modulator here as well and a carrier and that is this part um, the carrier is the FM oscillator and oscillator 1 modulates the FM oscillator and that's basically it so don't don't get afraid by the by the fancy terms this is mainly something that comes from the um, from the analog world so the first part uh, we need to make is this part here the upper part we're going to divide this in half and we have this part at the bottom which is going to be the low end of the kick and we have this part at the top and this is going to be the, the click at the start of the kick drum so the click part uh, it sounds like this if you can even hear it and what we did there is um, I used just an uh, oscillator and I set the tuning to the highest value and I put the key scaling off so it's not listening to pitch anymore and reset should be on so it restarts every note and then I sent that through an FM oscillator and in effect this is causing the FM to give a random sort of noise uh, with a lot of harmonics in it you could also use a noise module to do this but um, this is a little bit more of an advanced way of doing it and it gives you a little bit more um, harmonics and a little bit more control and that one goes first through a high pass filter which is filtering away the lows and then it goes to um, this low pass filter and that one is controlled with an envelope So this is the original sound. And the envelope is set to envelope 3 and it has a very short decay. And we can mess with that. And definitely make sure to set all these envelopes on V slope because now we can control the slope of the decay and the attack. So we can make it more convex or more, uh, what's the other word, concave. So that is very recommended when you're going to make uh, kick drum sounds. Um, so that is the first lane and that is the upper part of the sound. Make sure to, to in every oscillator set the key scaling to zero and set the re-trigger on and set everything to mono, so a single voice. and the width can be down all the way and this um, button should be on mono so that's the first click and then we have the base of the kick drum and it's advisable to use um, a triangle wave for that and this is not really triangle right now so I'm gonna say right click here and say oh that's the wrong oscillator I'm gonna go to oscillator 2 oh yeah this is triangle that's good um, because we want the harmonics that are contained in uh, 
in a triangle wave we could also use um, a SAR wave and filter it down a little bit but this is fine for now and that one goes to uh, a sideband controller I just added that for a little extra harmonic disturbance but we don't need that for now if we kind of follow the patch exactly you don't have to do this one and then we have another low pass filter and that is this one right here so this is the sound uh, that, that it's giving us and we modulate the tuning with an envelope and we don't modulate uh, the maximum amount, we modulate just a bit and this is something that we should um, mess with to, to get exactly the right sound You can hold shift and drag for more precise uh, increments. And then we just add them together. And it's not a very exciting kick drum and I'm I'm not also not going for a dance kick but I wanted more a realistic kick drum. And definitely mess with these slopes here on the master envelope and on the filter and tuning envelope. And then one other thing I did is, um, if we go to Logic, I used an equalizer, equalized it a little bit. And I used, uh, this compressor is not working, so I used one equalizer and I used a waves compressor. with a fairly slow attack, a ratio of 4 to 1 and a pretty fast release and then a limiter um, but that's it and that's how you set up the, the basics of this sound and um, I hope that helps and for anyone interested I'll put the link to the sound on sound article um, at the bottom it's really, it's really an interesting article also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit zerotutorials.com for a lot of presets and a lot more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next week.